Hey y'all, it's Mia here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you guys saw my LPS G7 blind box unboxing, we unboxed these Littlest Pet Shop blind boxes. But when the Amazon pre-sale came out, I ordered one of these jumbo Littlest Pet Shop blind boxes. And these come with three pets while these come with one. So we're gonna see who's in here today. There was one pet that I wanted really, really bad that didn't make it in the first video. So I found him at Target to make it in this video. Comment down below if you know which one it is. Also, do you guys remember my toy hunting vlog when I was trying to find the whole display of Littlest Pet Shops? Well, I found it and I took it home with me. This was the display I was looking for. As a bonus, we're gonna be freeing the Himalayan cat. So if you guys are excited to see who's in my new blind boxes and also to finally give a Himalayan cat a taste of life, don't forget to like, subscribe, join the herd. Let's get started. So we'll start with this unboxing so I can compare it to the bigger box. This is the Series 1 Littlest Pet Shop Blind Boxes with a pet surprise. On one side it shows the Roblox game and it comes with one pet, one accessory, one collector yard, one virtual code, and one collector's guide. The other side has the panda's face, which you can connect to the other box and make her lopsided. And the back has all the pets you can collect with the slogan, How Big Is Your Littlest Pet Shop Crew? Now for all the numbers here, there's also codes to these boxes, and the number correlates to the code. All you have to worry about is the number in front of the ES, so I have LPS number 13. In my blind boxing video, I unbox them from the top, but I want to show you guys a better way to unbox them if you do want to keep the box and keep this part folded. With some scissors or a knife, you can cut the bottom open and open it from here. And that way, you can fold it back up and it'll look like you never even unboxed it. It comes with a typical collector's guide that comes with every set that showcases all Series 1 pets. And the back shows even more pets, the Roblox game, and also the guide to find the personality, level, and rarity of your pet. It also comes with the gold Roblox code that you can put in the game. And this is the pet we got. Just like the panda, it comes with this little leaf. And the pet we got is this gorgeous chameleon. I wanted this pet so bad, but the display I got was a 12 set box, not the full 18 set one with the Himalayan cat. So this is the one I really wanted that I couldn't get from the box I found at GameStop. We've got this green chameleon. Oh my gosh, all of the colors make the eyes pop, which looks so beautiful. They're very glossy indigo. The back of him is where all the designs are and his sides. Look at him trying to grab y'all. These are his little hands. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. He's got a lot of details like the spikes on his back that lead into his swirly tail. His elbows are dry and crusty. He's got spikes on his chin and little wrinkly eye bags with similar spikes above his eyes. This is such a gorgeous LPS. I really loved reptiles. One of my favorites as a kid was this gecko that changed colors. This is his card. He's the hungriest, he's level one, and his rarity is core, and he's LPS number 13. You can tell he's hungry by the patterns on his body because it looks similar to the teardrop. Now, I'm not a huge fan of G7 having their personalities on their body, but for him, it actually suits him pretty well. And now he's no longer suffocating in tissue paper and he can munch it out. Now, moving on to the bigger version of the blind boxes. As you can see, there are some similarities and differences. The first one is, instead of one, Pet Surprise, there are three. So these specific big blind boxes are called Pet Surprise Trio. We can play with these because we're not three. This is series one again. Don't swallow your three LPS or their accessories. The side shows you the Roblox game, but this time it shows you the bull instead of the panda. And then we have the beautiful panda's face, beautiful eyeball. And the back is similar to the back of the small one. It shows all 18 pets you can collect. I have most of these. Check my blind box and video to see which ones I specifically wanted. And also comment down below which ones you have or which ones you guys want. Now what's different with this one is it comes with three pets, three accessories, three collector cards, three virtual codes, and one collector's guide. So it comes in three. I'm nervous to see who I got because these don't have codes. I really hope I don't get doubles, so ooh, I'm excited because I never really do blind box unboxings if I don't have codes.
Like the box said, we have three Roblox coins. And just like the first one, comes with the same pamphlet as all the other Series 1 sets do. And it comes with three cards. Now, do you want to see the cards first or unbox them? I think I'm going to unbox them first. I don't know, I feel like that's more exciting unwrapping them rather than flipping it over and showing you guys. So we'll see these cards in a second. Oh my gosh, I'm rarely ever doing unboxings where I'm truly surprised. This is really fun. Let's see who's the first one. Oh no, we got the controversial bunny. So here's her accessory, the first plastic scarf will ever have. This is a really fun accessory and I'm so glad to have it. I actually avoid it getting this bunny because I don't like the way she looks, but I really want this accessory. So there were times I debated getting her, but now we finally have her without having to buy a singular blind box. But this is the bunny in the flesh. She's an all white bunny with blue accents on her. She's got these blue eyes with horrifyingly big pupils. I don't know why they did her like that, but I love her nose color. It's very peachy and on her cheek, it has snowflakes. This rabbit is actually a hybrid of this this mold and this one. So it's got one body, one head that belongs to two different LPS, which I think is really cool. Now my biggest issue with her is the ears. Like they could have done better. They could have made the ears blue, but color the insides. Maybe a peach like her nose or keep them white or make the ears white and make the insides blue. I don't know. I'm just really disappointed in her lack of detail, but I'm also very happy we have a new accessory to go with her. She looks like she has no arms. <laughs> Like what? I mean, you're still beautiful if you don't have arms, but now we just got her thighs and legs peeking out. It's so goofy looking, but I kind of like it. Like it is a little, a little quirky, but that's the first one. I'm actually really happy I have this one just because I have the scarf. This is the second one. We've got this yellow banana, which is so cute. I don't actually remember. I definitely probably had this accessory because I did have monkeys as a kid but it's just really cute. I wish the top was colored in like a lighter color, but this banana is really cute. I'm really happy so far we've, we've been getting LPS that I actually don't have. These so far are the ones I was avoiding and didn't want that bad enough to buy them. But I'm actually glad to review them in my video because they're pets you haven't seen me in box. So we've got this ant eater. Now ant eaters are one of my favorite molds of LPS. They, oh my God, they're just so cute. We've got her little snout, her messy, hair with her little tail. We got that winged eyeliner going on with that forest green eyes. I'm not a big fan of the eye color choice for some reason. I'm also not a fan of the random symbols on her body. Not a fan of those, but she has stars. I wish her paws were a little bit colored in, but one thing you can do with her that's really cool is she can nibble. Eat up girl. I know you're hungry. But as a kid, I always wondered why is she walking around with her fist like a gorilla? But this one's out because she can hold food. I saw someone in a video have her hold a banana. Oh my gosh, I don't remember who did it, but I can't get her to hold it. I guess she's not hungry anymore. But that fist supposedly holds her little meals. I personally like LPS with natural colors. Now there's been a few times where they do have fun colors and I love them, but I don't know, I'm just really not a fan of the pink. I wish she had more neutral tones. But either way, she's very cute. Welcome to the collection, girly. Here's the last one. A double! And he came out discombobulated. We've got another chameleon. Oh my gosh. Now I kind of wish I unboxed this before I bought my chameleon. I just did. But you know what? It doesn't hurt to have two. I went from not having one to having two. And this one's head, the new one is actually more bobbly than this one. We can have them clasp fingers. Hey, Dude, look at the way they look up at you, bro. They're asking you. They're begging you to subscribe. And now we can flip over the cards to see what some of their personalities are like. So these were the pets that came in my trio. The bunny is the chilliest, I can tell. She's level one and she's core. The anteater could either be the sassiest or the hungriest. I can never tell with this green star, but she's level three and she's actually rare. And I'm guessing she is sassy because she does have the stars on her butt cheek. I love the background they chose with this. It's gorgeous. And look, she could kiss herself on her own card. And then we've got my gecko, which is also fascinating. These trio pets don't tell you the description at the bottom of the symbols, but the singular blind box cards do. Unless that's just mine or or mine's an error. And last but not least, we've got the display. And we're gonna free this cat. So this one says 18 pets, no repeats, which is actually always true. They always have 18 pets on the shelving unit. So there's never a double of the pet that you grab. And of course, these are the 18 pets you can collect. The ones I'm missing now are the poodle, this bug, 
centipede, millipede, worm, inchworm, caterpillar, I have no idea what he is. This bird, this pelican, the shark, other panda, walrus, and tiger. But I'm actually not interested in getting any of them. You can watch my first blind box unboxing to find out why. These are series one, pets one to 18. One side has the logo with the bunny, Himalayan cat, and poodle. The other side showcases the pets again with the Roblox game. And the back has my silhouette, my ring light, and our saviors. What you can do with this display is display your pets. Chameleon number one, chameleon number two. You better stay still, girly pop. Oh, she too big. There we go. So if you guys ever wanna display them, look how cute they look. Look at their bodies hanging down below. Now, I don't know if this is good advice for y'all, but in my opinion, I say if you see her in stores, save her. Because we have no idea what they're doing with these boxes if they're just recycling them and throwing them out when they're empty. But you could be the one to get a Himalayan cat. Stay still without having to buy a whole blind box. And if you don't have the codes, it would suck having to buy a bunch of blind boxes to find the Himalayan cat. But here she is, right here, waiting for you to save her life. So I say, save her if you see her. This was actually the first display I ever saw at my Target. And it was when I was buying my new reptile friend. So I decided to take all the other blind boxes out and take her with me. So let's free her. So at the top, there is tape and an opening. I'm surprised that instead of this Himalayan cat, it isn't the panda, because she's the mascot. But she also seems to be a fan favorite. And look at her bobbling in there. Once you take it out, this is what it looks like from the inside. And you can close it right back up when you're done. And you can also remove the shelves, so let's put them back. They sit on these little flaps right here. And this is how the cat is displayed in the cardboard. Hasbro is rarely using plastic now, so actually her ties that keep her in are paper. The Himalayan cat is now free! Unlike the blind box pets, at least she had a view, but she has a better view now. Looking at all of y'all. I actually have her already from my first video, so now I have two sets of twins. If you've never seen her before, isn't she beautiful? She's a Himalayan cat. Her head is gorgeous. She's airbrushed. She has this gradient with her glossy heterochromia eyes. Her little tongue's peeking out. She has a black nose and her tail, ears, and hair tuft is colored in. Now for her ears, since we don't have her card, she is the chilliest pet and she usually comes with a bowl of lemonade. And on her body, she has this textured fluff all over. Now what I find interesting is how Basic Fun chooses what details to add. The otter's chest, paws, paw pads, and ears are colored in. But this one's chest and paws and paw pads are not. So how do they decipher which pets get the most detail and which ones don't? I find it inconsistent, but also fascinating to me because these blind box pets are actually the most detailed we've ever seen in the previous generation with the ones we love. So I'm grateful they have detail, but also fascinated how they choose which ones get the most detail. But this girlie is one of my favorites along with these two over here. So now all we have to do is wait for series two blind boxes. So stay tuned for round two. I hope you guys enjoyed me unboxing these two sets of blind boxes. I can't believe we got our first double. That is so funny that I bought the chameleon. Little did I know I had one already in my house. And I'm glad we got to free the Himalayan cat together. I'm gonna name her Kukuru Meow. Watch my cat cafe vlog to find out what that means. Anyway, if you would like to see more LPS unboxings from me, let me know in the comments down below. I'm dying to find those LPS pet pairs. Let me know if you found them. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave comments everywhere. Have a blessed day. Gotta get to the studio. I got to find new friends in the crudio. Gotta get to the television studio. Let's go.